Welcome everybody to this new episode of Borders Gate. Um, today we are going to play our fighter Solaris uh, that uh, managed to escape uh, from the, the cavern uh, with all the sirens and to take their treasure but most importantly we managed to uh, grab the Tome of Constitution and to ramp up our Constitution to level 20 which is pretty cool. We also, also sold uh, a, bear, a fair amount of uh, items, uh, including the cape that um, allowed us to polymorph in, in wolves or something like that. I have a dagger. I wonder why I have a dagger there. I just want to get rid of it. I'm going to talk to the innkeeper. So what we're going to do today, we're going to uh, clear the, uh, the quest around the friendly arm. And uh, we are going to um, try to resolve the issues, I think, at Nashkel. Um, the idea that I want to, to do is to be able to uh, clean as many quests and, and as many creatures that I can. So the, the character, like Solaris Ray, our father, is um, as high level as possible. I would like to enter Baldur's Gate level 6 if, uh, if I can. And, uh, and fight Sarvak at level 8. Uh, if I can't, uh, at least I want to be level 7 with a fair amount of equipment because it's going to be a fairly tough fight to do it on our own with no additional party member. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Open to all who behave themselves. Uh, we 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 gonna we're gonna sell this because it's not useful. I don't think that we have anything in our gem bag. Ah yes we do. Alright, so let's sell that stuff. Close. Alright. Fortunately we cannot put the potions in there. Um, so we have a fair amount of gold. We are not gonna buy the, the plate mail uh, because we're gonna find a better armor. Um not at Nashkel, but not very far away from uh, from Nashkel, if I remember. In the south, there is a there is a point where we can go where we can find full uh, play armor or something like that, like a very good armor. So uh, we're not gonna buy that. Yeah, and this is the item that we found: the wand of paralyzation that we cannot use, and the reader's mistake. Um, but she's sold because we, we don't have any use for it necessarily. We are not stronger because of it. Uh, I presume that if you are a wizard or something like that, that could be cool because then you, it gives you some fighting capabilities. But for us, uh, the usage was uh, very questionable. So we freed up uh, another inventory, uh, which is very important for us. And let's have a look at our quest. So we have this quest uh, where we need uh, uh, I think it itself at the self of the friendly arm yes um, all right we're gonna look for a girdle Sh okay Jara and Khalid we're not taking them with us so we don't care uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take care of the orb goblins. We're gonna take care of the um, the ogre. I think there's a rogue ogre. I took his girdle, so we're gonna take care of that. Um, I hope that we haven't done it because I think we killed that ogre at the south. We already sold this girdle. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Landry, the friendly arm apparently have ish. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's the uh. The spider infestation in um, Berigost. Yeah, I would like to go at Berigost as well um, because there's some pretty good equipment there. Yeah, we're not taking Zara and Montaran with us, so we don't care. And okay, so we're gonna do. We're not gonna do Zara. Glandrin is at Berigost. We will see if we can get to that, but we can do Joa's Flaming Wrist and Rings and the uh, Rogue Ogre. One. At least we're gonna try to see. Uh, if we're okay. So we're gonna rest. I'm gonna take Royal because it's gonna help us uh, rest uh, faster our hit points. Boom. 
Uh, so I think we are fully recuperated, which is what we wanted. We're gonna save and we are gonna go in adventure. Taking our uh, bow. At least for now. Sorted. We're also gonna check out potions because potions is gonna be very important for us. We need to have a fair amount of potions. Sorted. So where is he? He's always tricky, this guy. He's always running around. <laughs> okay, uh, what kind of potion can we buy? Uh, it's potions of healing, potions of genius, mind focusing, which is uh, dexterity and intelligence. So I'm not, I don't really care about the intelligence, but I really care about uh, dexterity. Uh, since we are using arrows a lot, it could be um, could be interesting. 750 gold, huh? Wisdom, yeah. Antidote. Elixir of Elf can be pretty good. Cure poison, disease, 10 hit points. Um, which is better than the potion of healing. Which is only 9 hit points, but it's 3 times cheaper. It's 3 times cheaper. And there is also stone, uh, flesh to stone to flesh scroll. Okay, so that is for a quest where we need to, uh, to free a priest who has stoned. We can buy that. I'm not sure if we gain XP from that. But, um, how many, how many, uh, potions do we have? I think we have seven in our inventory. Seven and one portion of uh, honestly, I would like to have as much as I can, but uh, yeah, I don't want to to um to use my gold before I can buy some key um, items. Never went this side of the, the funny arm. I don't know if there's something here, never checked. Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, well, let's continue. Um, Alright. So we're going to take care of the uh, of goblins. I don't think that we have done it yet. We needed to go all the way there. We haven't done that yet. So... Alright. The ambience is pretty cool in Baldur's Gate. I really miss it. Like, the music, the atmosphere is awesome. Really helps you emerge in the universe, in the... Uh, the scene really like it uh okay so uh let's go i also would like to find this armor uh where is it uh it's not at the temple i think it's um not at the Nashkia mine i think it's somewhere around there around the berry ghost at the east of berry ghost so i need to find it this is going to be a very, very useful armor for us. Uh, because it's way better than what we're wearing. And uh, honestly, uh, we need any protection that we can get. Um, okay, so this is where I stopped last time. So I'm going to save. And as I said, like, I'm going with an approach of clearing the area. And looking for everything that I can find. I think I killed a few of uh, the Hobgoblins already. And the reason why I'm going through the entire area, well, well, it's to kill all the creatures, finding all the places that I can found. Okay, there's nothing east of the front here. I found that. Sorted. Uh, okay, what is north? Okay, so there's a farm. I'm on it. Okay. Okay, where are those uh of goblins? Okay. Afraid. Uh uh. Okay. If they're uh, not afraid, they should. Forward march. Okay, all uh, right. Let's let's go with uh, the sword. It's gonna be a sloppy fight because I have penalties with the sword. But 
One day we will hit. Can't wait to, uh, to reach level 3. Yeah. <laughs> so I can have my specialization with uh, the arm. The one handed weapon. It's gonna be specialization 1, but it's gonna be better than having 0. Okay, here you go. I think that's the ring. There you go. Quest accomplished. Okay, so I gotta take the jewelry because guess what? I can put it on the bag in the bag, so that's not gonna take too much space. And the rest is trash, so I'm not gonna even bother. I'll take you to the bow. Oh yeah, I killed him straight away. This guy, I remember. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. May I have a few more. Not quite sure. Hola, hola, hola. Nah, go, go back. Went too, too far away, my friend. Okay, kill the one. As you should. You're supposed to be a decent archer. Alright, there you go. I love when I one shot people. Alright, a little bit more gold. And a bit more gems. Alright, so what is uh, east from here? Yeah, Pet, pet Vale. Okay. I think I gotta go at... Um... Ah, that's a good question. I think it's Yeish. I'm gonna need to go at Berry Ghost. But uh, okay, so we did this quest with the ring. Sorted. So we're gonna do that. Um, gonna give back the quest. And once that's gonna be done, we will go at the self. To find this ogre, but I think I killed him already. Uh, I think I. I uh, we'll see. Is that the self of the friendly arm? So, unless I'm mistaking the uh, the ogre from the one that. Uh, yeah, I think it was there. Yeah, I killed that ogre there. Like it's the. I think it was the ogre with the the wolf. Uh, but I had to kite and all that stuff. But I think I I sold everything. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's possible. Yeah, that's the case where we'll do another quest. It's unfortunate. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, where is she? Right, what's this then? That's a camera. It's just not there. I'm on it. Uh, it was there, yeah. Duh. <laughs> okay. There you go. I'm on it. Yes. I thank you. This ring was a gift when I sent out on my own. Couldn't bear the thought of some smelly old of goblin having it. You are a good sort, and I will say so to anyone that asks. Perfect. Okay. So we gain one reputation. We lost the ring. We gain 40, 400 experience, and that's it. Which, you know, it's really cool. Now, now that she's not there, all right, uh, we're going to prove that we are a good sort, and we're going to rob her. There you go. So, grab some stuff. Alright, put that there. Alright, there you go. Okay. Sorted. Alright, so that's one quest done. We're gonna check at the self. Uh, self of the funny arm, see if we can find that freaking ogre, but I think I killed him and sold the item. I sold the girdle, I think. Uh, I could be mistaken. I hope I, I am mistaken, but. Um... Right, what's this then? Okay, eight hours, it's at night. So the good thing with uh, half orcs. 
Ah, so an enemy there. Look at that. Ah, I moved the sword. Chunks. I thought where I was with the uh, the bow. And uh, it's gonna be, yeah, we're gonna miss. I hate seeing that. Here you go. <laughs> Alright, another jewelry. Let's switch, uh, switch to, the, to the arrow. Yeah, let's say. I'm pretty sure that that's the ogre that he was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, the ogre. Yeah, that was the the scene that I kited that I, I barely made it alive. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, I missed him. Yeah, he's dead. Seven gold, you say? Yep. So what is east from here? Yeah, the last woods. Okay. Yeah, I, I just think I screwed up and I, I did the auger already. So I'm not gonna waste too much time. I will check it out later to confirm. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste uh, too much time on this on this um, episode. But I'm very sure that I did it, unfortunately. Uh, so we're at Berry Ghost. Here you go. So Berry Ghost is a pretty good town. We didn't uh, explore too much because uh, there was the scene with Nera and other stuff, and we, we didn't want to level up, and we ended up level up anyway. Uh, that being said, very I think this is where the infestation of spider is. Um, and there is also a few uh, quests to do here. Yeah, we gotta do that quest uh, close to the red uh, red shaft. It's uh, it's night and everything is very suited. Okay. Nothing there. The burning wizard. So I think this is an inn. Hello there. Ah, uh, Garrick. Yeah. I have a pretty proposal for you. Hey, adventurer, I have a proposal for you. I've heard that you are an excellent group of warriors. How would you like a well-paid job as a bodyguard for my mistress? We are always, uh, we are always on the lookout for money. Tell us more. I am Garrick and I work for Cirque Rosanna. She is the most skilled musician and actor along the Sword Coast. In fact, she is to play at the Ducal Palace before the month's done. However, she has been uh, having some problem of late. Some thugs have been hired by a fellow post to hurt her bad because she didn't perform at his inn when she was supposed to. You can't blame her for not showing up. What a villain uh, like uh, Philippus running the place. She needs missionary to protect her until she's ready to go at, uh, to Baldur's Gate. Sure you're willing to pay 300 gold, what do you say? Yeah, sounds fair. I think you have uh, made a good decision. Now, just uh, uh, just met me outside of the Red Shaffin. Okay. So it's gonna be a little bit complicated because uh, she um, casts spells. Okay, here she is. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky, Vespin Extraordinaire. Okay. So, Garrick, uh, these are the only mercenaries we could find. I guess they will have to do. You look to do to be worth about three hundred gold. That's what my little Garrick offered her, isn't it? I've had 300 gold, just like you told me. 
Okay, so in this quest, if you have uh, 16 charisma, you will have 400 gold, but <laughs> we have uh, only 12, so. Well then, I assume that Garrett has explained what your duties are. You must simply dispose of the ruffians when they come to, to threaten me. They shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but I would advise uh, you to strike fast. Uh, however you do, don't speak to, with them. Uh, one of them is a mage with mystic words, uh, can sway even the most wise of men. Wow. Hey there, Arnel. Follow post folks. Strike when I tell you to. A fault is. Uh, greetings, Yaka. We are here as you have asked. And we have the. Don't try to threaten me. I have, uh, I won't be easy prey for you to beat on, uh, have brought friends. What are you talking about? We are here with the gem that, uh, shut up. There will be no whistling out of this one. Strike now, kill them all. Okay, as good as dead, uh, stop this madness. We want to murder those uh, who are obviously innocent men. Our deal is off. In any case, uh, you are probably too cowardly to be any good in fight. I will deal with them myself, and after I will deal with you. Okay, so... Get over here. Ah, shocks, I didn't break a spell. Okay. So she's gonna cast a spell. Yeah. So this is the thing, if I don't manage to hit her with the arrow before she casts the spell, I'm uh, gonna be in trouble because uh, I only have 24 HP. So I'm not gonna read the, all the tests, I'm just gonna uh, continue, speed the things up. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, we're gonna talk to you. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky, Despin Extraordinaire. Okay, let's try to hit it now. Shocks, I forget to. Yeah, there's gonna be a problem. Okay, we, we dodge it. <sighs> Where is she? She's gonna do a project, a magic, a projector, magic projector. Where is she? She's down. Did she fail? Ah, uh, it's a ray of lightning. We should get out of there. Oh, she killed the guy. <laughs> what a bitch. A little, up. a little patching up, you mean a lot, yeah? Where is she? Come here. Oh my gosh, she's gonna kill me now. Wow, she's pretty high level to, to be able to dish all those uh, magic projectiles. Wow. <laughs> okay. I don't want to use the, the, the potion of... Um, a speed to beat her. Maybe before uh, I, I will save just before uh, talking to her, so we don't have to to waste our time with this sequence. Am I gonna have to redo it a few times? Okay, so we're gonna talk Greetings, to her. I am okay. Got her. This is a big one because then she can, and here you go. That's all that I needed. Because I, I prevented her from being invisible, which means that after I could hit her almost all the time. So here you go. 
Magical staff. Alright, so I gotta talk to him. Yes, sir. She's dead. I guess she, she had it coming. You can't be evil like her and expect to get away with it. I am out of a job now. Uh, would it be much to ask if I could join you? No. Uh, we don't need anyone else right now. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're gonna save. Because we gotta kill them as well. They're thugs, aren't they? So, we gotta kill them. Ah, very many. Ah, I still managed to kill them. Here you go. Yeah. Now, the reason why I kill them is because they have a lot of jewelries. And a few of the good potions. Alright. So. Potion of defense. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, that being said, I think I will have a better cack, a better, um, better armor without it. I can make a test and uh, test, uh, test and drink one, but uh, anyway. So let's go. Uh, let's go in the inn. Oh, there's gonna be a fight here. It's gonna be a hard fight. I think it's not triggered because I just entered I didn't move. But if I remember there is a dwarf that is gonna come and try to kill me and he's uh, wearing uh, shields and uh, and he's, uh, it's pretty tough. I'm on it. You're at the end there of you your rope, I'll wager. Carlotta. You're at the end of, the, of your rope, I will wager. Not that it's uh, anything personal, you understand, but I am afraid of um, uh, uh, I am afraid your time on this here ball of mud is just about done. Why are you uh, doing this? I have done nothing to you. I hope uh, you have uh, you have the will to back up the words. Uh, hey, uh, but I do, and uh, I do the will and the way. Shall we get to business then? Okay. So, uh, he's pretty good. Get over here. If I remember. In fact, it's gonna be better than me with a uh, long sword without any proficiencies. So, there you go. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be a, uh, a tough fight if I don't have a, a specific advantage. I can use my bow. But then I'm gonna be more exposed. Yeah. Could use the potion of healing, but I find the, the, the potion of speed, but I don't want to waste that potion. Um, wonder if I can try. Let's try. And I have one less protection, but I, I may have more chance to use it. Okay, not good. Let's see my potions. Yeah, the problem is like he's having a shield. I'm not gonna have a good chance to hit the guy. I didn't hit him once. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's got, I need maybe to roll a crit to hit the guy. Since I don't have a proficiency. So. Right, this let, this is what I'm going to try to do. He's going to go outside. I'm going to need to think. He's going to run after me. Get over here. Oops. That's not the kind of mistake that you want to do. Okay. Yeah. 
The problem is like he's, he's having a freaking shield which uh, reduces his uh... Come on. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna have to pop it. It's annoying but... Okay. I didn't manage to hit him once. Uh, I met him once. Here you go. Get over here. Jeez, he's a tough guy, eh? Well, mate, you're not gonna run for me, I'm telling ya. Gonna take that to try to repay uh, for the gold that he made us spend. Alright, Bounty Notice. It is known to all of those of evil intent that the bounty has been placed upon the head of Solaris Ray, the first child, child, child of Gorion. Last seen in the area of Candlekeep, this person is to be killed in quick order. This offer has been extended to all appropriate guilds. Uh, those returning with a proof of his of the deed shall receive no less than 350 gold coin or co coins of gold. As always, uh, a, uh, any that reveals this plan uh, to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. Gonna copy. Thank you very much. And toss it because I don't have the space. And we're gonna sell the stuff. I'm not gonna rest because the portion of um. The portion of speed is a very important uh, portion that I just used, and I want to get the most of it. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go there, talk to the innkeeper, sell some stuff. Is there anything that I can uh, that I can help you with? Uh, could you show me what you have to offer? He has nothing to offer. He will not even buy my stuff, which is very unfortunate. So we're gonna go. I'm going to continue a little bit to play because uh, there was a little bit of a discussion at the beginning. It took a fair amount of time. So we're going to find the house where the, uh, the, the, um, the spiders are. Yeah, the first thing. So if I remember, the spiders are in... Uh, they are not in that house. Yeah, I think they are there. I'm gonna save. There you go. Alright, so this is gonna be an annoying fight. I'm gonna let them come. Sorted. Sorted. We're gonna follow me. Okay. Not good. They blocked me. Okay, so let's go with the protection. We don't we don't want to be hit. Uh, okay. They blocked my they block my way out. <laughs> Well, there's a chance for me to be poisoned every time they hit me, which is, which would uh, which would be okay because we have a uh, an anti dot. But I'm the the pro. Right. I hit someone, and I crit. I leveled up. Perfect. Now we gotta go with the arrow. If I read the raw, I should say. Yes, let's read is the the spiders in the town. Sounds like a good idea. There you go. Don't worry, guys. I, everything is under control. <laughs> I imagine the citizen like seeing the the 
the spiders like uh, coming and alright boom okay and this is a, a major milestone for us guys because we are level 3 sorted Okay, so that's the the bottle uh, that we need to give. So there's the bottle, there is the boots, and we also need to recuperate uh, on their corpse the Sorted. proof of their death. So we can uh, finish everything about that quest. Uh, why can I not? Okay. All right. All right, let's see if there is anything else that I can grab uh, from that place. Right, what's this then? Uh, I think I did both of them already. There's nothing to grab. Okay. I'm on it. Okay, so we leveled up. And this is a very important level up for us. Uh, for many reasons. Uh, the first one... Is like, it's gonna enable us to have uh, the specialization. On melee. And we really need it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. Like I remember this. Uh, this guy's gonna talk. He's salty with... Um, he's very salty with adventurers because someone died, etc. So we're gonna see. Here now, get out! I don't like your type in here. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. Whoa. What's the problem, salty. man? Okay, I gotta switch with Mede. Are you talking to me? Hey, you... I you told you to get to lost. Ain't no room uh, here for you troublemaking stranger. I need to get all bent uh, uh, out of the shape. There's plenty, uh, plenty of uh, all of us. Hey, I take whatever shape I want. I'm sick of your freaking adventures going out, consulting with God knows what, and dragging your trouble back in into my hometown. What do you say to that? Uh, I just do what I think is right. We solve a lot of problem, uh, a lot more problem than we cause. Well, very nearly anyway. <laughs> uh, well, uh, go easy. Let's keep it friendly. Uh, how about uh, I, I buy you and the rest around about? So, I say that uh, I have about enough, uh, Mr. Pushback. Uh, stop pushing or I push back. Um. You're threatening me, practically where I am in life, and you're threatening me. You, uh, you sure must think you are tough with a blade on your belt. Why don't you drop that armor you're carrying and put your hide uh, where your mouth is? Okay, mate. You, you, you're gonna die. Good luck. Wow, well, it's like a tw <sighs> what, 650 experience. All right, take it. All right, and we're gonna save. <laughs> and I think we're gonna we're gonna stay there for the episode. But uh, yeah, we did we did a fair lot, though, guys. We did a fair lot. So uh, let's have a look. So we're gonna be level three, and uh, the. Um, the thing that I'm 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 uh, questioning. Uh, can I go back? Ah, uh, I think I saved. Did I save? Yeah, I saved before going in the inn. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, this is this is a very big question, guys. So. I could put another point in the bow, but I won't. Even if, you know, it would give us uh, plus three to hit. <laughs> plus three damage instead of, so we get one point of damage, but we have plus three to hit. That's huge. So that's uh, pl plus two instead of, uh, that's two more chance to hit. So that makes it a very reliable weapon. Or we can begin to specialize ourselves with a melee option, which I think we desperately need. There are certain situ situations where we're not going to be able to kite the enemy. So, 
the best options, um, but I, I made some research in the best research uh, from best option that I found. It's either the scimitar because for one uh, specialization, you have access to scimitars, waka, wakizashi, and ninja tools, which are pretty good weapons. Um, they are uh, some of which are slashing and pursing, I think, and they have a very good attack uh, for a speed factor. It's pretty low. Long sword, because in Baldur's Gate, you know, there is a lot of long swords, so you'll find a lot of magical swords, so that's pretty good. Uh, bastard sword, there is a pretty powerful bastard swords. Um, but yeah, I'm not very fast on that. Or axes, right? Now, my preference will either be long sword, axe, or scimitars, right? That's the three. Um, I know that they are pretty good warhammer weapons and all that stuff. Uh, but in the long term, the scimitars are pretty, pretty good. Uh, the axes are pretty decent too. Um, the long sword, you know, yeah, there is a fair amount of magical long sword in the game. Um, so that that's something. Now, in the early stages, our character is only going to have two specialization points before we end Border's Gate. Right, it's gonna have one at level three, which is right now, and one at level six. And after the other ones will be in Baldur's Gate two and uh, other extension to the Fall of Val, etc., etc. So we really need to think about what how we're gonna spend that point because yeah, it's gonna it's gonna stick with us for the entire Baldur's Gate game, right? Because at level six. Uh, we should double down. We could we could put another point in another melee weapon, uh, or we can double down on uh, the same weapon. And I think I would double down in the same weapon. So globally, I'm choosing my specialization for the entire Baldur's Gate series. Now, for the Baldur's Gate series, having long sword would be the best option because as I say there is a lot of magical long swords in Baldur's Gate, um, but for the long term, because we are going to play this character all the way from Baldur's Gate 1 to Baldur's Gate 2, uh, scimitars or axes could be a long term better option because there are some very powerful axes, especially in the late game. And scimitars and ninja to and wakazashi uh, are pretty good as well. You're not going to find a lot of magical ninja tools and wakazashi in, in uh, Baldur's Gate, but you can find some pretty good scimitars. And after you can build up the specialization up to level 5, if you put enough points in it, uh, in, in uh, the extension of Baldur's Gate and, and going f all the way to Baldur's Gate 2. So, it's a choice. Um, I'm just really hesitating between those three. And to be honest, I'm not necessarily sure if I'm going to make the choice now because it's a very uh, big choice. But... The safety will say long sword, but I have a very big hinge for the scimitar. And I like also the axes because the axes uh, encompass throwing axes too. So I think I will go with axes. Okay, so let's see a little bit what we're gonna gain this level. Um, okay, so the next level is gonna be at 8,000. We're already at 5,692. Uh, we're only going to have one attack point, uh, free law point, and uh, I think we're getting better with saving force against breath weapon, polymorph, and all that jazz. Uh, how much uh, hit points are we gaining? They're not, it's not say that they are... Our, ta our uh, attack though is going to go at 18, so we're going to be... Our attack is going to hit easier. Done. There you go. So now I'm going to need to go at the quest of a good melee weapon. And we have 39 hit points, guys. Wow. 
What happened? I don't understand. That's 15 hit points that we gained. That's strange. Okay, so the reason why I say that is strange, we need to see a little bit the progression because at level 1, we had 15 hit points. At level 2, we went from 15 hit points to 24 hit points. We only earned 9. And now, we went from 24 to 39. Which is at 15 hit points. So it's almost as if every two levels we are gaining 15 uh 15 hp every every and even levels in uh, of our every odd levels and every even levels we are just gaining nine so i will have to check this out on level four what happens and i will make some research but uh, yeah so we have proficiency with axes now before we end uh the the playthrough and i know that um um let me see. I know that uh, it's a fairly long episode, but uh, I'm okay with that. As I said, I, there were a little bit of uh, talky and uh, at the beginning. All right, so let's see what they have. Okay, right, guys. Ooh, look at this, guys. A longbow composite plus one. A battle axe plus one. Arrows plus twos. Oh, I love this place. Battle axe. Oh, yes, guys. 1d8 plus one. Speed factor six. So it's a slow weapon. But that's a good weapon. 1d8 plus one. And I'm proficient with it. So that's good. The longbow. Longbow composite plus one. That's very good. Speed factor 6 again, but uh, 3 damage plus 2 on the, the taco. And also we have access to, uh, to plus 2 arrows. Uh, what is that? The protector plus 1. Uh, plus, oh, plus 1 saving 4 in armor. Okay, so I'm not sure if that is... I'm not sure if I can wear that and the ring of protection. I will need I will need to be careful about that. Um, what else do I have? Medium shield, shield plus one. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Okay, I really like this shield. I don't care about the chainmail. I really like this bow composite. The battle axe is pretty cool. I also need to get that identified because it's a potion. Um, I find it's a star as a, a magical stuff plus one. I'm gonna sell this chain mail. I'm gonna keep that because it's for the quest. I'm not sure about that. I would put it there. Let's open the container. Sell all this. Yeah, yeah. Sell it. Sell. We gotta sell that as well. Free up space. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'm not gonna buy that this episode because, uh, as I said, like the uh, the episode is pretty long already. But I will think I definitely love this battle axe plus one. I definitely love this longbow composite. All right, this longbow composite. I need it, so I'm not gonna leave without this longbow composite because that's a plus one <laughs> longbow composite. So uh, longbow composite is already pretty good, and plus one. That's that we're gonna be pretty good with it. The battle axe is gonna really help us out, and the shield. And and to be honest, I think I have enough gold to buy everything. But before doing so, we are also gonna check the other inns, uh, because there is also the smithy in Berigos, which is pretty cool. Um, that can have some stuff for us. So, you know. But the last ship plus two, a uh, plus one. That's pretty good, guys. I really like it. So whenever we're going to go in melee option, we're going to have a battle axe plus one, 
uh, large shield plus one. Um, and once we will find the the armor that I talked about, we're gonna be pretty hard to hit. And uh, so that's gonna be very good. And the long bow for whenever we kite, we're gonna be able to do a fair amount of damage and pretty good chance to hit. So that's all good. And we have access to plus two arrows. Now I don't. I think he only has two series of ten, but. Um, they do 1d6 plus 2 damage and they have plus 2 to hit. So if you use the longbow composite that already has plus 2 to hit and you use the bow which gives plus 2 to hit, that's plus 4 to hit. And, and you add that to the bonus that we have, so plus 1, because we, are prof we, are, um, we have 2 points in the bow, so that's plus 5 to hit the target on our normal attack. So, yeah, that's good guys. So I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna save the game. And here you go. And we're gonna end the, the, the episode there. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. That will really help us out in the channel. If you have some comments or some suggestions, please leave it in the comment section. And I will catch you for the in the next episode. Thank you very much guys. Bye.